this is VTS Kenya podcast and guys kwa wenye wajui Kaspar anataka to introduce atambia who he is yeah yeah actually for guys who watch VTS my name is Kaspar King Sonyama uh, the president of Liberal Youth Movement and as finally student at the University of Nairobi PC Yes, with Mike Wamba. Recently we have been having elections in the University of Nairobi. So how are the elections? Yes, Lena the recently concluded university uh, elections of the UNSA that is the University of Nairobi Student Association were done mm-hmm. in a very democratic manner I must say that and I must say that comrades have actually matured the democracy. Yeah. Yes, you see the University of Nairobi has comrades has around 13 campuses. Wow. with the uh, over 80,000 comrades wow. and they were able to vote now in the overall they had to vote for the president okay. and also in their respective 13 campuses they had to vote for respective governors to represent them okay. yes and the election was done online okay. but it was not marked with any rigging or any complaints it was done in a very civilized manner yes i think the comrades expressed the high level of, of intellectual yes a high level of civilization and i think the comrades level of democracy is highly advanced and i think the nation will should borrow from the comrades yes okay so did you choose the president as a lady or as a gent yes we the, the elections uh, melvin togo is the president of the university of nairobi oh. madam president and first let me congratulate her and her team yes they are the ones who won the presidential election oh, well, she nice. is a lady from the um, law faculty backlands oh. yes so ladies we are we are doing something yes at least <laughs> at least it also proved that uh, <laughs> yes as i said earlier the comrades are also expressing maturity in in democracy whereby we don't have just to choose somebody because of gender okay we are choosing a leader mm. okay you see somebody to represent comrades is not just because of the gender it's the leader and uh, as you know the university of nairobi is a home and a hub of leaders and it has proven so that you see them coming outside here shaping the national politics and we think melvin is equal to the task and i think you have even had sa- ha- sa- some of her interviews she is well articulate equal to the task um so why do we have to elect a third of leaders as women mm-hmm. instead of electing leaders who are doing something you see electing of leaders it comes down lena to democracy okay yeah. and democracy works on representation okay yeah. yes whereby we we have every we're not just talking about women okay okay when we're talking about gender we not specifically talking just about women we are talking about the male part of it now we are, we are keenly talk, looking about representation and democracy argues for representation whereby each and every group Yeah. should at least be represented yes. in the leadership okay and there must be equally it should not be dominated by one gender be it female or be it male mm-hmm. okay true. yes and that, this is where by the yes it might be true that the the female gender has not been that much into politics into national politics and which for the leadership positions yeah. but that's what we we're trying to do that and uh, as I'm here I represent the liberal youth movement In the liberal youth movement we have the women command team. Okay? True. This is a, a wing that tries to bring the involvement of women into leadership, okay? Mm-hmm. Trying to bring them conscious to boost their consciousness. You see and trying to address the challenges that women face from day to day. You are women, okay? Yeah. You know the challenges yeah, women feel challenges. when they come to into politics, okay? Yeah. Yes, yes. So we're trying to address that and also you see we cannot just carry it by just saying oh, we have to elect women, okay? But we also have to say that okay, women, these women, what are they coming to present? To represent, okay? They're not just we're not just electing somebody simply because he belongs to that gender, okay? Mm-hmm. At least they have to prove that this is what they want, they will represent the gender in yeah. the end. Yes. So Okay, you are the president of LYM. Yes. So, how do how do you involve mm. women into your group? Into our group. Yeah. Thank you so much for that question, Lena. You see the LYM has a constitution, okay? Yeah. Now, and the constitution is even deposited at the Register of Political Parties. Oh. 
You see, and one of the requirements of the by the register of political parties that is a party must have a third gender role. Okay, it must maintain that one. So the LYM is on the forefront of encouraging young women, young leaders. You see, the, the the first thing that we have to see here, like the thing must start from down here. Okay, it must be a training. You see, you don't wake up today and then you say you are into national politics. Okay, True. there must be somewhere. Uh, a uh, baby care okay there must be somewhere a uh, baby care for you to learn things yeah, eh? yeah. yes a training okay so the LYM is working more on this one on recruiting more vocal ladies okay and supporting them we actually encourage them through the LYM women command team okay yes they, they take it's an independent wing of the movement okay being led by strictly ladies yes all from the top to the bottom it doesn't mean that, that they are not in the leadership of the LYM also. It is a part of it, an integral body of the LYM. Okay? Yes, and even with the next election, we have decided that the NDC, in our NDC, we resolve that in the coming elections, we shall balance the gender such that when the president is a man, the deputy president has to be from the opposite gender. If the president is a female, it has to become the opposite sex. Okay? So to ensure that everybody is well represented. Yeah, it's all about representation, yeah. Lena. So, the last question. Yes. Okay, so 2022, Yes. Uh, it's the year of elections in Kenya, yes. right? Yes. How do you feel about our leaders right now? Yes, our leaders for, for now. Let, let me talk about the women now that you are girl here. Like, you see some people try to intimidate women not running to, for politics. True. Yes? Yeah. Now, the political intolerance, the harassment, you see, that must be condoned, okay? Yeah. This is whereby people only view women in politics as sex objects. Yeah. That should be condemned, Lena. True. We must see it as it is, you see? Yeah, it's true. Yes, we must see it as it is. And you see, a vice is just a vice, yeah. okay? Yeah. Nobody has to justify that one. So it's wrong, okay? True. We have to view women as leaders. You see, Thomas Sankara says that it's the women who hold the other side of the heavens, okay? True. And we can't, it's like playing a team where you have to leave out another half of the team. Okay? Yeah. It's not okay. So let's have them on board. Okay? But they, they, they can't just come on board that way. You learn out there and the women out there watching this, they have to come out. You see, the, the, the thing with the politics is that the power is never given. Mm -hmm. It's taken. Okay? So also, I know there are very vocal women out there. Very outspoken. Well articulate. For yeah. example, you have seen Melvin. She has come out there. Yeah, okay? true. Yes, yeah. you see, the University of Nairobi is a huge campus. It is, it's, it's equal to a governor. Yeah. Yeah. It runs a, a huge population, you see, and she has won it and she has proved it. So, okay. And you can even see the examples from other countries where women are doing it good, okay. So, the women don't, they, they don't have to be fearing, okay. They have to come out and claim their position there, their position in politics, in national politics, for, for them to be represented. Sure. They don't have just to sit behind. Then, also, the, the women also have to share this. I must also say this thing that sometimes the women are the enemies of themselves, okay. This is whereby you see the women won't vote for their counterpart. The females sometimes they tend to view the, 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 their politics sometimes tend to go towards emotions, okay? Yeah. Okay? So they, they don't okay. have that much rational. This is whereby you see they, they propagate hate against each other, okay? I feel like women are very emotional. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's get to biology at some yeah. point. Yes. I'm really loving this because yeah. a woman in her body anapichanga a lot within one month so yeah. don't blame us being emotional yeah you understand yes. we have so many mood swings deep down us mm -hmm. and a lot to handle mm -hmm. so that's why maybe we're so emotional mm -hmm. but there are those women who are not emotional yeah we take heroes like wangari madai yes she really fought right yes absolutely she's a hero but you, but you see lena again you see everybody you see these things you're talking about biology and whatever you see as a leader, you see leaders make sacrifices and leaders have to put their personal interests aside, okay? Yeah. Okay? You see leaders sometimes they have, everybody feels, okay, we are human beings, we are not machines. Everybody at least has that emotional part, okay? Yeah, true, true, Yes, true. yes, but, but when it comes to leadership, this is whereby it calls out, and as you, as you have talked about Wangari mother, you see, okay? She had to suppress that emotional thing, okay? And stand up, okay? Yeah. Because you, you, you won't be standing on the podium simply by, by just saying, you see, you see, I go through a lot, okay? Yeah, true. Okay. 
But yes, yes, you go through a lot. But now, will you just be there crying? <laughs> no, you can't. You won't solve the problems by just simply crying. Nice okay. Street, street. Yes, you you have to accept it. Okay, and channel that energy towards the better change. Okay, on how to improve it, to improve the com the conditions to ensure that this woman is able to operate under good condition. You see, the men, as we have said it, we see the men representing women may not feel it as you feel it, okay? Yeah. But it would be better if a woman was there. But what if now this woman is not claiming the position? It's okay, true, so yeah. she has to stand out there and claim that rightful position so that at least this she represents. And when she gets up there, she really represents the interest. They say the mother, we all have mothers, okay? You see, and the, 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 our mothers who brought us up, actually, yeah? And we are, we are actually indebted to them a lot. True. Yes, you see, there's nobody who came here, either you or me, without a mother, okay? And we also have sisters, yes? True. Yes, and we also want the best for them, even now and then. Yes, and that's what exactly what the LYM is doing by trying to boost them. Where, 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 where they feel like, okay, yes, you have said the, the, those things where they, the more things but this one is a rational debate okay okay yeah. whereby there are some things we have to put them aside and put our objectives in perspective okay our eyes on the ball not to divert attentions yes or to seek sympathy there here and there but just focus on the goal eyes on the goal what do we really want yeah. yes so it was nice to hear your side yeah, pleasure. And nice to talk to you also. Yes. So, ladies, we eh? <laughs> Come out, You just have to stand up. Just be strong. Osishtuke. It's your host, Lena Michael. Thank yeah. you for being with us. And it was a pleasure talking to this Calypchas young lady, Lena. Thank you. Thank you this so is much. Yes. 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 Yes